Hello and welcome to Run Testers. My name's Nick, and in this video, we're going to be comparing the Nike Pegasus 40 and the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. So, Pegasus 40 and the Velocity Nitro 2 are both cushioned daily trainers designed to handle a nice variety of runs, and they're both pretty good value trainers as well, coming in a little bit cheaper than a lot of the running shoes on the market today. The uh, Velocity Nitro is £105 in the UK and $120 in the US, whereas the Pegasus 40 is £115 or $130. Both of them are also very frequently found in sales. The uh, Pegasus 40 is a slightly heavier shoe. It's 292 grams or 10.3 ounces in my UK size nine, whereas the Velocity Nitro is 271 grams or 9.55 ounces in the same size. Both have a 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe and very similar stack heights. The uh, Pegasus is 33 millimeters at the heel, whereas the Velocity Nitro 2 is 34 millimeters. Comes to design, you've got a mesh upper on the uh, Pegasus 40 with a lot of padding on the tongue and collar there for some added comfort. Pretty substantial heel counter as well for added stability. You've got a React Foam midsole with two Air Zoom pods, one under the forefoot, one under the heel. They're designed to add a little bit more responsiveness to the ride because React isn't the liveliest foam in Nike's lineup. And then you've got a rubber outsole with a waffle inspired tread, nice coverage on the shoe there and a nice thick layer of rubber as well. So good grip and durability from the Nike. The Velocity Nitro 2 has a mesh upper. It's quite thick, probably thicker slightly than the material on the Pegasus 40. And there's loads of padding at the back of the shoe. Not too much on the tongue though, that's quite thin. Then you've got a dual density midsole. The top layer is Puma's Nitro Foam, which is a nitrogen infused TPEE foam. It's a bit softer and bouncier than the Pro Foam Light underneath, which is an EVA foam. The shoe has a Puma Grip rubber outsole, which like the Nike offers pretty full coverage and a nice thick layer of rubber. And the Velocity Nitro offers outstanding grip and durability thanks to that Puma Grip outsole. So I'm a size eight. Both of these shoes are size eights and they fit very comfortably for me. There is a little bit of room in the front of the toe box, um, not loads. So I definitely wouldn't size up or down in these shoes. And there's also a nice bit of wiggle room in the forefoot as well. A bit more in the Pegasus than in the Puma, but neither of them are by any means narrow shoes. So fit for me, the Velocity Nitro 2 and the Pegasus 40. Now I've had these in UK size 8 and I don't think, you know, I would need to go half size up or half size down. I found the fit very, very good over on both of these shoes. I would think that most people would go need to go true to size and they'd be absolutely fine. I think you'd get a good fit overall on both these shoes. Now I do think they fit very similar as well. I think you've got a similar level of padding and I also think the uppers definitely feel the kind of very hugging type where you know it really kind of wraps you around um, I think maybe you're getting a little bit more kind of support on the Pegasus 40 particularly in the middle of the shoe and I think it narrows a little bit more whereas I think you get something that kind of opens up a little bit more at the toes on the Velocity Nitro 2 but in terms of kind of padding you're getting here on the collars it's very similar uh, the tongues are slightly different you get a skinnier one on the Velocity Nitro 2 compared to the Pegasus 40 but ultimately I do think the fits for me, based on my testing, are very similar. I wouldn't entertain going half size up or half size down. I would say go true to size in both these shoes and you should be absolutely fine. So I've been perfectly happy true to size in both of these two shoes. They're both UK 9s, US 10s. Interestingly, the Puma is listed as an EU 43, which is really odd. Like normally a UK 9 is a US 10 and an EU 44, occasionally an EU 43.5. I don't really know what's going on there, but in my normal UK and US sizes, both of these shoes fit me really well. No concerns with heel rub or anything like that. They both provide good, reliable lockdown fit and nice ruby toe boxes as well. So both of these shoes are pretty similar in a lot of ways, not just the cost of them, but they pretty much designed for the same thing. They're daily workhorse trainers. Uh, they're designed to be comfortable, not really run that fast in. And what I found with both of them is there are a lot of similarities. I think I'd, if I was wearing either of these shoes, I'd be perfectly happy chugging out daily miles at a fairly competent pace um, and they're both very comfortable as well so I've got no issues with either of them I think they're very comparable in that in that sense what I would say is the difference between these two shoes is really the fact that I think there's just a bit more in the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 it just the midsole of it just seems a little bit more responsive to me a little bit more interesting to run in I feel like I can run a little bit faster in this shoe um, and it just feels like an all-round 
better shoe to me. I, I even think the quality of it just feels a bit better as well. I, I've never been a massive fan of the the Pegasus range when it comes to, to the quality of them. I always feel that the upper feels a little bit cheaper than other shoes. I think the Velocity Nitro 2 feels like a premium shoe. I definitely put it in the same leagues as things, you know, like the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 uh, V range. Um, I, I I think it's the same quality as shoes like that. Whereas the Pegasus 40, I think it's definitely, you can you know it's a little bit cheaper than some of the other shoes that you can get in the same category. Um, I'd say that these shoes both are cap out at a certain level. So um, I think for the Peg 40, it really, I wouldn't do anything other than daily runs in this shoe. I definitely wouldn't do a tempo run it. I definitely wouldn't do interval training in it. I just think I'd, I'd struggle a bit in it at my pace. So for me to do an interval session, looking at about four minute kilometers, um, I just wouldn't do, enjoy doing it in this shoe. Probably you're right if your intervals are a little bit more comfortable than mine. I really need a shoe that gives me a little bit of pop when I'm when I'm doing intervals, just to to help me along when I'm running. And the Peg Forty just doesn't just doesn't do that for me. Um, the Velocity Nitro Two I actually think is a little bit more versatile than the Peg Forty. I think you could probably do a bit more in this. If I was going on holiday and I wanted a shoe that I could do a little bit of interval training in, I could do a little bit of faster training in. Velocity Nitro 2 is a good option. Um, it, it can do it. It feels a little bit more responsive. The midsole just feels like there's more to it. Um, and it just feels like it's got a nicer turnover for me. I think the Peg 40 seems a little bit dull, uh, especially in comparison to some of the other shoes in the daily category uh, and even some of the shoes in the in the cushion category. I definitely think something like the Sockney Triumph 20 or 21 uh, is better for um, versatility than the Peg 40. Um, other than that, the grip on them is both excellent, as you can imagine. That's probably the big thing about these shoes that seem very durable. Um, that outsole is very grippy, very solid. Uh, and they also feel like very stable shoes as well. The, the midsole really, um, without being too hard or firm, it does feel like it's really holding your foot in place, very supportive. So it's a good shoe for beginners it's they're, both shoes are good for beginners they're good shoes for people that probably don't necessarily want a stability shoe but want to make sure they're not getting a shoe that's a little bit wobbly a little bit soft so great all-round shoes uh, and and really do the job uh, i just think the puma velocity nitro is a little bit more versatile pegasus 40 and the velocity nitro 2 are two shoes that i think have quite a similar setup across the board in terms of the stack height the intended use the fact they've both got really good outsoles for road shoes even the geometry looks quite similar to them neither of them have got very aggressive rockers or anything like that but then on the foot they do feel really very different to me like the pegasus is the firmer, slightly duller shoe. It is and feels a fair bit heavier on the foot than the Velocity Nitro. And while I do like the shoe, as a nice solid workhorse trainer. It doesn't really bring me a lot of joy to have it on, it's fair to say. The midsole just doesn't really have that much pop, where it's now it's okay for just cruising around, easy runs, that kind of thing. You get a reasonable snap through if you do try and up the pace, but it's not that lively or responsive or exciting underfoot. It's solid, it's stable, it's going to be very durable, but it doesn't really have the wow factor. Now, I'm not going to come in and say that Velocity Nitro is a massive wow of a shoe when you pull it on, but it certainly gives you a little bit more back from the midsole. The dual density setup there, particularly the layer of nitro foam on the top, is just a bit softer and bouncier than what you get from the Nike. And as a result, Velocity Nitro ends up being just more enjoyable for every kind of run, in my opinion, just because it is a bit softer and more comfortable when you're doing easy runs. You get a bit more bounce and a smoother and just faster transition, I find, when you're trying to do faster efforts in the shoe. A little bit more pop off the toes from the foams in this midsole just makes it a little bit more versatile while also being really good and comfortable for easy runs and probably a little bit more comfortable than the Nike. It's not as stable as the Nike though, it's a slightly softer foam, especially on the top layer here, but I don't have any real concerns with stability myself and it's not a problem I've had with this shoe. So yeah, they are both shoes built for similar purposes and they both do that job pretty well. The main problem I really have with the Nike Pegasus 40 is that it's not quite as good as the Nike Pegasus 39, but I do think it is a very solid all round shoe. I just think the Velocity Nitro is a similar shoe, just a better shoe in terms of the way it feels for me when running at any pace. Enjoy it a lot more for easy runs and I think it's got a lot more bounce and response in it when you do want to run fast in it. Both shoes have got really good outsoles that work well on a variety of surfaces, but even here, the Puma has a slight edge. This Puma Grip outsole really does work for me very well on light trails uh, in, and really wet roads. That's true of the Pegasus 40's outsole as well, but 
again, I think it's just slightly better from the Puma. And that's really the story of these two shoes for me across the board. Both good shoes that do a similar job, just prefer the way the Puma feels and the way it does that job. So into that testing, obviously we've just finished testing the Night Pegasus 40, whereas we've had the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 for a lot longer. Now this is a shoe that has remained in my rotation and it's a shoe that's, you know, it, it's catering for the same types of runs that the Night Pegasus 40 is. It's a daily trainer, workhorse shoe, a shoe that you can use for a mixture of runs. It's a shoe that you can use for regular runs as well. If you want to run slow, fast, do a little bit of tempo stuff, both of these shoes aim to offer that. Now, in terms of the experience of running in these shoes for those types of runs, I'd say first and foremost, these are very comfortable shoes to wear. You know, these are shoes if you want to run long in, you know, I think they're going to offer similar levels of comfort. I think similar on the support side of things, you're getting something similar as well. I think maybe in Night Pegasus 4, you're getting an upper that's a little bit more su supportive in places. I think the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 maybe is built a little bit more for comfort. It's probably a little bit less breathable than the uh, Night Pegasus 40. But I think from those kind of things, if those are the kind of things you're looking for from these shoes, I think they're pretty kind of level pegged from that point of view. Outsole point of view, I think you'll get very similar. You know, the Puma grip outsole that you're getting here is very, very strong. Puma do great things with their outsoles at the moment from a kind of gripping point of view in roads and pavements, it's absolutely fine. It's the same with the Night Pegasus 40 as well. You'd have scope to go in some lighter trails on both of these shoes and they'd be absolutely fine. And from a durability point of view, I think you're going to get something similar from that point of view as well too. So what I think it really boils down to is what you're getting from these midsoles and the kind of ride that you're getting. Now, on the Pegasus 40 and the kind of React uh, kind of midsole or the React uh, base midsole, I think you're getting something that's smooth, stable, very consistent, not particularly exciting or lively, but I think you know you've got something here that is capable of soaking up a lot of time on your feet. But if you want to pick the pace up a little bit, you have the capability to do that as well. Now on the Pure Velocity Nitro 2, I think it's a similar story, but I do think the midsole for me feels a little bit softer, a little bit more forgiving. I think when you are running a little bit slower in it, I think you get something a little bit more comfortable from that point of view. But also on the flip side of that, when you want to run a little bit quicker in it, it's a shoe that feels a little bit lighter. That midsole feels a little bit more responsive as well. And it feels, I think for me, a little bit more exciting uh, from a ride kind of point of view. And I think those are the, that's the kind of key characteristic or key difference for me in terms of how these shoes kind of differ. Because ultimately I think from a comfort and a support point of view, they're very, very similar. Same thing with the outsoles, but in terms of what you're getting from the ride and those kind of midsoles that really dictate the kind of ride you're getting here. I think with the Pure Velocity Nitro 2, it just feels a little bit more exciting when you are running a little bit quicker. And when you're transitioning back to kind of those kind of slower, easier paces, it does do that in a kind of more effortless manner. Where I think with the Pegasus 40, we're getting something that's very, very consistent in terms of that ride. Maybe a touch more firm, not too firm, but I think, you know, what you would expect from a, a night kind of react based kind of midsole. Um, ultimately, it's very, very similar to the Pegasus 39. And I think, yeah, they're both very solid, capable shoes that can, you know, soak up a lot of time on your feet, can run or, you know, are capable of, you know, going out with you when you want to run slow or fast and mix those paces up. But I think for me, the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 just offers a little bit more life, a little bit more pop in it compared to the Night Pegasus 40. Whether that's to do with the kind of slight differences in weight, you know, maybe that's a minor thing, I think, but it really comes down to these, I think mainly these kind of make up these midsoles because everything else is very, very similar. And if you're looking for daily trainer work or shoes, these are two very good ones, but I think you're getting something a little bit more lively at kind of a variety of paces with the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. So my verdict, nice and easy on this one. I think the Puma is a better shoe with a similar setup and it's also a cheaper shoe. So I'd certainly be getting the Velocity Nitro 2. It's also gonna crop up in sales even more regularly than the Pegasus 40. It's often available. I think it's available for 50 quid right now. And that's just silly money for what is an excellent all round shoe. Really nice and comfortable for easy runs. Has a little bit of speed there. I still generally would pair it with a faster shoe in a rotation if you're gonna do that. But if you are looking for one shoe to do a bit of everything, the Velocity Nitro 2 does that job really well. And it's also a really good cushioned, daily training option to pair with faster shoes. Pegasus 40, good shoe. A little bit more stable, if that's one concern you do have with the Velocity Nitro, then the Pegasus 40 is a little bit more stable. But other than that, I don't really see a reason to pick the shoe over the Velocity Nitro 2. It's a good shoe, but this is just a better one for me and a cheaper one. Uh, so unless you're really worried about stability with the Velocity Nitro 2, or just a big fan of the Nike Pegasus line, which should be fair enough, I'll be going for the Velocity Nitro 2 myself. So my verdict on whether I go for the Pure Velocity Nitro 2 over the Nike Pegasus 40. And now based with the testing experience I've had with both of these shoes, 
I would be going for the Puma Velocity Nitro too. Now, this is the cheaper shoe, but I don't think price really represents the kind of shoe you're getting here. And it's definitely on par with the Nike Pegasus 40 in terms of types of runs, the experience you're gonna get with this shoe. Uh, and I think personally, it's a nicer shoe to run the similar types of runs that you would use the Nike Pegasus 40. I think from a fit point of view, I think you're getting something very similar. I think in terms of the outsole, you're getting a similar level of kind of grip, durability, you know, a shoe that you can run a lot of mileage, regular runs in. I think for me, in terms of versatility on the Puma Velocity Nitro 2, it just feels a little bit nicer to run a mixture of different paces in. I think it feels a nice, bit nicer to run a bit quicker in this shoe. That midsole foam that you're getting here on the Puma shoe feels a little bit more lively in comparison to the... Um, Pegasus 40, what you're getting with the kind of React based midsole. So for me, I think the ride, the level of comfort and fit are all kind of very similar, I would say, in the outsole durability and the kind of runs you can do it in. But I think ultimately, in terms of what the Velocity Nitro 2 is giving you, in terms of what you feel when you're running a little bit quicker in this shoe, I, you know, I, that's the shoe that I would veer to go, going for instead. You know, the Bruno Pegasus 40 is a very solid shoe as well. And I think if you like the 39, it's more of the same. But I think if you're looking for a kind of daily trainer workhorse shoe that can work for slow, fast runs, but can give you a little bit more, a little bit more enjoyment in terms of that ride, I think the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 is gonna give you that. If you want something that's kind of smooth, stable, um, you know, comfortable, has a strong outsole, Nike Pegasus 40 will give you that as well. I just think for me personally, the shoe I would be grabbing for the same types of runs I'd be looking at these two shoes, I would be going for the Velocity Nitro 2. So my verdict on these two shoes is you're probably going to be happy with both of them, um, depending on what you want to do. I think if you're the sort of runner that just wants a solid workhorse shoe just to tick off the miles in, in a shoe that's going to last a while and not be too expensive, especially if you're a beginner, they're both great shoes for that because they're not the most expensive shoes out there, but they are solid shoes. They do have the benefits of more premium shoes. If I was going to compare the two, I would always tell people to get the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. It's a more versatile shoe. You can do all the same runs that you can do in the PEG 40, those easy runs, those longer runs, um, and those maybe more, maybe slower daily runs, you can do all of them. But I just think there's more to the uh, Puma Velocity Nitro 2. It's just a little bit poppier, a little bit nicer turnover. It just feels like you can do a bit more in it. Um, and I really enjoy this shoe. And also, I just think it looks way nicer as well. I really like the look of the shoe. I don't normally talk about the look of shoes, but I do think the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 is a great looking shoe, especially for the price. So yeah, I'm going for the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 all the way um, in pretty much every respect when it comes to shoes. So that's the comparison of the Losty Nitro 2 and the Nike Pegasus 40. Dive into the comments uh, to let us know what you think of the shoes. Criticise me for constantly praising the Losty Nitro 2 if you want to. I get that a lot. Um, please do like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time.